ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT and we're back with WWE Champions and another six star character gameplay preview video. And today I got Acro Montez Ford, the Street Profits. And I'm a little upset because I feel like the little shot glass necklace red cup thing, you should fling around when you spin them and they don't. And they don't. But uh, he's also got some big ass feet. Look at the size of them shoes. What are those? Anyways, he has no fancy gear. We've all seen Montez before. He's a coach. Black moves deal 10% more damage, destroy an extra gem. Blah, blah, blah. Now, at six star, his uh, unlocked move, the back elbow smash, deal damage, and increase your blue gem damage. Um, to be honest, he doesn't have a single move that makes blue gems. So, really don't see the point of that move. Like, why, 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 why would they have done that? I don't know, but anyways, we're going to get out here and check him out. So I still have him set up with double armor and cheap shot because at five star gold, the plan was hit the big bop on turn one. You hold down the pin because they can't kick out of the gem damage uh, at six star. I'm going to tell you, it's not working as well as it did. My strap has a 25% HP boost. I would love to get a 50% gem reduction strap for him and see how that helps. But I'm still just rolling double armor. If I got a blue percent uh, takedown two metal for move damage, I would use it and I would try to go double takedown two. But until I get that, I'm going to keep rolling this double armor. We're going to roll the original move set, the yellow to purple to blue. We'll try one more move set after this uh, and we'll do the bleed damage and see if that makes a difference at all. But. Uh, I got Beth Phoenix for my move point trainer. That's just out of, uh, cause I got tour perks on and I didn't want to spend the coins. So this will be enough to charge the yellow move for turn one. Um, usually you'd use show or Kofi. I got mutant Bailey for 125% blue finisher damage. I got goat Becky for 30% blue move damage. I got hall of fame honky for 25% blue move damage. And then I got, you know, the the 200% blue move damage from the metal. And we're going to go out here against this six-star Hulk Hogan. And we're going to see what Montez Ford's all about. We're going to see what his finisher's actually hitting for. I do get asked all the time. If Montez Ford is good at six star, and let's just let this, let this be the demonstration you've been waiting for. And with all that, we're hitting for 1.9. That's a 2 million, 2 million damage. So it's going to take four cycles at least here, possibly five. He may not kick out on the fourth one. Five would put him away, though. So we're dealing two million damage. That's it. That's it. When you get into feud and you get some finisher buff from that, you'll hit like 2.5 million, something like that. 2.4, I think it is, actually. Well, here's your chance, Hogan. Here's your chance. You better put me away. We'll just uh, let Montez do his own thing here. The one thing about Montez that's great, the AI cannot mess this move set up. Just does the moves in order every turn for you. And you're good to go. That's the third cycle. Oh, he may not kick out there. Oh! No cascades. Okay, three cycles. Three cycles there, and he's out. So, about two million damage. If that helps you make your mind up on if you like him at six star or not. So, we'll get out here. We'll try the bleed damage set. Okay, so, I've never actually tried this one out yet, but we're going to try it out right now. So, here's my thought. We can hit the standing moonsault on turn one. That's a separate yellow move. This one gains nine blue MP. 
with tour perks on that'll fill my two blue finishers so we also have the rolling leaping clothesline finisher 11 charge deal 121,000 damage and deal 316,000 bleed damage to your opponent for three turns so we can hit that one on the first turn and then they'll kick out they'll hit and then we'll hit the big finisher the next turn which will recharge this and the bleed damage will still just keep rolling through we're gonna try that out once i'm gonna go same move set as i had on but we're gonna uh we're gonna give this a go we're gonna give this a go then we'll do the all bleed set and and buff that out Basically, we're going to just see which moveset takes less times through the cycle here. I had to go three times through for the original moveset. So we want to hit the bleed damage one first here. So that's hitting for 500k, plus we're going 316k. So that's like 1.7 million for that. Or, no, I'm wrong. 369, 1.4. My math was way off. Oh, baby! One cycle! I got lucky on a loot box there. Can we... Should we run that moveset back? Is this the way to run him? Was I... Was I doing it all wrong before? Was I doing it all wrong before, man? We have to run that one back. This might, this, I think I got lucky there, but you never know. My cheap shot probably hit for one of those, and then he broke loot boxes on another one, if I had to guess. All right, let's put that bleed damage down again. And then let's hit this. And he'll bleed again. Okay, he kicked straight out that time. That's more like it. So that's one time through the cycle. And we got an extra million damage from our cycle. But you have to pass the turn an extra time, though. So that's another problem. That's a whole other problem in itself. We're going to hit this again, get some more bleed damage going. And we're on our second time through the cycle, but it's taking two turns each. So while uh, we did get a pretty impressive win on that first one, I think that might have been a fluke. And this match is probably more how it's going to go. And that's going to be one move point off, isn't it? Yeah, see, that's the problem here, too. That one might get him. Okay, so that was technically only two times through my move cycle. But the move cycle took twice as many turns. So I can't say whether that's any better or not than the first move set. But if you had a nasty line bonus for the bleed damage, that'd be good to go. So we will, uh, I'll just do a live switch then instead of a cut switch. Because we're going to make one switch here. We're going to put the standing drop kick in. And we'll run the, the two bleed damage moves together. And we'll just put the bleed damage on as high as I can get it. I got 58% from Rollins. And we can put Kyrie Sane on here. I'm not going to do... Well, that's only 10% health steal. Uh, isn't there a 10% bleed damage too besides this? No. That's fine, and Becky can stay on there for the finisher. So, 
Now we're going to do 579,000 bleed damage for three turns, so that's nothing to sneeze at either. Let's see how this one goes. Last chance. See, how many cycles will it take? I might even impress myself here. Like I said, I don't really, I haven't tested these other movesets at six star. I've only just been rolling the lazy original moveset. So this is going to be a lot of bleed damage. But I have no, like, like the damager from the finisher itself isn't very good here. So it's going to be hard to get a pin. 869,000 bleed damage there. Is that what it's showing? Yeah. So 1.6 on the bleed. Now here's the problem. Now we're stuck. Now we're stuck. No way to recycle on that. So I would probably use a skill plate to recycle this moveset if I'm going to be using this. Take cheap shot off because you're not really going to need it. And use something, break whatever, gain yellow MP. Okay, we've been through... Oh, this will be interesting here. Here we go. Because we're going to get to double that, right? Isn't that less than the nine? Oh, man. Here comes the big bleed. We got a triple bleed. We got a triple bleed coming in here. Let's see the bleed damage counter now. Boom, 1.1 million bleed. That's a second 1.1 million, and we're without a yellow match again. Now we're in a little trouble. Ooh, we got a lucky dodge. Drop a yellow. Oh, I was really hoping there. Keep that bleed damage out. So this is just taking too long. We need a way to recycle this. We need a way to recycle this is all. I think this move set would be the way to go. If you were in a feud and you had your bleed damage beefed up. So next, next feud I'll try him out like that and see. The power gems aren't helping me any, but we pretty much bled them all out here, so it's just about over. Let's just make sure I don't get embarrassed here and beat at the end of the match. I'll probably just quit the video anyways. Come on. All right, we're straight out. All right, we got him. As long as he can't end me right here. But I doubt it because we got that double armor on. So there you go. Montez Ford six stars in a... Well, I can't say in a nutshell because it's kind of turned into a long video. But if you've been wondering about Acro Ford at six star, wonder no more. Because now you've seen him. And you've got the chance to witness everything that is. Six star Ford. All right, that's it. So, not as good as I wanted him to be at six star. I'm going to tell you that. But if I figure out anything to do better, like at the end of this, can I say which of those three movesets is the best? I don't know. Y'all tell me in the comments one, two, or three. I'm kind of leaning towards one because I can do the most damage per turn, I feel like. And there's not really much that can go wrong with it. You just got to have enough turns to win the match. So I'm going to vote for one, but I want to see your votes down in the comment section and I'll leave you with that till next time. Y'all.